Good morning, and today we're gonna debut the best unit in the game, the one and only Hurado. As you can see, he is max level and six star over Judge Kise. What? What the fuck? Why, you might say. <laughs> How can you do this? Where is the justice? Well, Hurado needs to be 6 star level 60 because when he moves is an AoE. Even though most of you may not be equipping your Hurado with high crit rate, you bet your ass he's gonna crit the ML Ken and ML Ken's gonna counter him. So you want him with at least some HP in there, right? And without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna fight this Chinese guild over here and they are just wrecking us. And this is probably a strong guild because my stronger members are losing or having draws. Hopefully, they can have some takeaway from this this uh, lesson that I'll be showing right here on how to wreck uh, guilds that are seemingly strong. So we're gonna hurado the team above, and you're gonna see this ML can counter, and my hurado's gonna survive because of that level 60. And then we're gonna chorus the one below. I Let's just go. <clears throat> we got the strip, and there we go. The counter attack from Ken. And look at that, if we weren't level 60, we would have been dead. We would have been absolutely dead right there. So Tywin's gonna go for this right now, like back. Never miss. Triple defense break on the cable. Triple defense break as expected. We're gonna push Sans up. And this is over already in three turns. Look at that, ML Ken, Sayonara. It's very easy, you know. A lot of guilds we seem strong, but really, and this is true advice. Just kill it. Just kill it. See, they're all dead. Just kill it. Next, move a special. Let's go. You win. Perfect. What is this guy? This is one of my better guildies. He got a draw, and I don't think he usually he usually wins all three. So let's see what this is all about. So first team he has is a speed team with a speed leader devotion skill Shuri. We're gonna match his Shuri with our Shuri. So we each have the 14 speed devotion, and we're going to one tap whatever they have. And for the team below, we have like a Crimson Armin, Diane, and Kron. We're gonna run the same team as just now. Um, it might be a little tricky because I might have to switch targets to the Diane instead of the Crimson Armin because Crimson Armins are usually built very tanky. But anyway, let's just go into it and then maybe we'll see what artifacts they have in play uh, according to the circumstance. So, we're gonna move first as expected. After I move, Luna is going to move, Shuri is going to move. Ooh, I mean Yuna. I have two things I could do here. One is I could very well go on to the Sith and kill it. Because I think that Sith is probably the, the biggest damage dealer here. Yuna probably doesn't do as much damage. So, I go on to the Sith. I'm gonna pop him right here like bop bop. He's dead, right? We're gonna silence Yuna. And she's not gonna be able to do the buff thing. Hey, guess what? Will RNL, that's right, 19%. Go on the Yuna. Uh, we didn't crit though, unfortunately. So she's gonna do a single target attack. I mean, she's gonna do an AoE attack, but no buff. And uh, the Shuri with Silence couldn't do the AoE, but it doesn't matter because right now we're gonna do this. Okay, and then we're just gonna take down the threat right here. In fact, I'm gonna stun it. Yeah, stun the Yuna, make sure she doesn't get any big damage out, doesn't get her out off. And we might even kill her. Uh, we, we killed her, we killed her. And that's gonna push Shuri even further back. And this one's in the bag right away. I love speed teams because Assassin Coley is always, theoretically, if you're at the same gear level, it's always gonna outspeed because of a high base speed, right? She might get outsped by Lydicus, but it's rarely the case. Uh, because, I mean, this is the SSS Shuri, 14 speed. Yeah? Okie dokie. What's up next? This is the one that's a little tricky. Aureus. Okay. Aureus. On Crimson Armin and the end is at 86. If we don't get the 15% combat readiness decrease on the end, we are dead. We're like dead. We're just dead because because Tywin's push is only 30%, and that will mean uh, what's his face? Cess will be at 84, and that will be under 86. So there are two plays here. Number one, I could gamble, go for the silence. 
but that's too risky because I don't I didn't look at the artifacts does she have a potion bow as well and it's only 35% so the best bet right here would be to go for this and pray to god that we get the combat readiness reduction onto the end please Burado. please Sheba. Let's get this done. It's so easy. Happy go lucky. We are the one who We did it. Kill, 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 kill. Us, 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 us. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it, guys. So, 84 and 62 were about 22% less than uh, the end, which means my 30% push is gone work. But now lies the problem. We're gonna burn for defense, right? And we need to get it on either the end or Armin. Preferably Armin. Hopefully Armin. Victory is calling me. And we need to see the HP bars. So many days is yet to come. Oh my god, we didn't get it on Armin! We didn't get it on Armin! No! No, 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 because Armin's passive doesn't protect herself! Armin's passive only protects teammates, and now this Armin is Aureus! I don't think we're killing! But we have to go for it. Because we got no soul burn, we have to go for it, please. Please, Seskun, 5,100 attack. Let's do this! No! It's gonna be so close! Bad guy, motherfucker! <laughs> no, Murado! Oh, Murado's alive. Murado's alive. <laughs> Oh, that was so close! That was so close! Ooh, that was scary, that was scary. Still Hurado, see, level 60 Hurado. If he's not 60, we wouldn't survive that, okay? So for our last attack, we're gonna fight this one over here. Uh, she just got a defense successful against one of my guildies. Let's see what this is about. Uh, speed team at the bottom. Whenever I see speed team, we just speed team to reciprocate as well. So we're gonna outspeed the team below. Because Assassin Cole is gonna outspeed the Judith and pop her because she's level 50. Easy pop. Don't even need to bust the soul burn. Now for the team above, this is a little tricky because Falcon and Kuri is gonna be very far. I'm fast as fuck. So it could be, uh, you know, it could be tricky for for me to uh, outspeed that and get Cesar to kill something. But since it's Hurado Day, we're still gonna Hurado. We're just not gonna Cesar. We're gonna Hurado, but we're not gonna Seth. So the idea here is Hurado moves first, strips, pushes the combat readiness back. Yeah, Isiria resets Kraut, Kraut pops the enemy Charles. Okay, and there shouldn't have enough damage on Kraut and Falcon 3. There should not be enough damage on Kraut and Falcon 3 to kill the rest of me. That is the plan. Okay, so this has to, we must get the, the turn bar reduction. It is vital that we do. Because if we don't, and Falcon and Kuri decide, I'm gonna provoke Dark Horus. <gasps> We're dead dead off. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go for the reduction. Safe play, and hope that Kuri provokes something else. As long as Kuri provokes anything else, we're fine. I will collect all my power. What? That hurts! That fucking hurts, man! What you doing, Crow? I mean, Crow, I mean, uh, what's his face? Charles. Shit! Okay, we refresh over us. Okay. I'm thinking to increase my chances at, at winning this. We go for a default attack on Falcon and Kuri. Infinity uh, artifact on my on my on my Isiria. We're gonna dual strike, get this, with Corvus and provoke that Falcon and Kuri. I know, it's a very it's like a 0.3%. Let's just do it! It didn't work! You can't be losing, Not Corvus! That's right. Hurado's dead though. Hurado's dead, but we're gonna kill the child and we're gonna take out the main damage source here. Because we're gonna snipe him 100 to 0 through Aureus, no problem. Dead child. Okay, but Hurado's dead. Hurado's absolutely dead because this guy is gonna charge into Hurado. Poor Hurado. Poor Hurado. 
And then we're gonna work on Falcon and Kuri here. But we still should be fine. As long as they focus, the enemy focuses on my Corvus, we're gonna be fine. Oh no, they're not. Yo, wait, what? Hang on a second now! Did he just go an additional turn? Or did she get the combat readiness? Bullshit! Jesus, she got that combat readiness! Don't provoke Corvus! Yo, don't provoke Corvus! Shaisa! Dual strike! That's right, baby! Kill that flurry! I need Corvus to break out of this! Break out of this nonsense, Corvus! Stop! Wait! He's a max skill! Who max skills Crow? Who max skills the first skill on Crow? Who the fuck does that? Oh my god! Three provokes in a row! I'm going crazy! I'm going crazy! Stop provoking, Crow! Crow, please stop! Do the defense buff, Crow! Do the defense buff! Do the defense buff, Crow! That's right! That's why I want to see Crow! So no provoke for Crow! And that's gonna mean that's gonna mean that uh wait one second we're gonna we're gonna go on this one first because I want to make sure Kral stays at that health yeah we're gonna burn we're gonna kill the falconer right here bop, 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 bop. two warriors we don't care but wait now we're in trouble we're in trouble because Kral should I have killed Kral because now Kral is at that that the threshold or is he wait let's just give this guy the thing. Is right. the crowd more tanky than me? That is the question, you know? Is the crowd more tanky than me? Okay, we provoked him. We provoked the crowd. Which means we can kill the crowd, right? Actually, I'm just gonna do this. Because crowd can only do default attack right now. We're gonna provoke him and he's gonna provoke us all the way till he dies. That's right. We're gonna provoke each other right now. He's gonna provoke me. And I'm gonna provoke him. <laughs> You're never gonna use your ulti! <laughs> You're never using your ulti! You provoke me, I provoke you. If you don't provoke me, if you don't provoke me, you die anyway. Are you dead anyway? No need for the Korra special. Easy. Easy clap. That's right. Easy clap in the bag. In the Wait, 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 wait! That was only the first fight! Whoa! I'm getting ahead of myself here! <laughs> That was only the first fight! Okay, so, it's a Judith. One second, there's some jets flying across. I wanna wait for that to pass. What do we have here? We have a level 50 Judith, which tells me we don't need to soul burn. She's gonna pop. Yeah, that's why even though it's a booster, you still need the 6 star it. It could have wasted a soul burn right here for me. But because it's level 15, even if we don't crit, she dead. I will stand. There you go. She dead. No need for soul burn. <laughs> Shit, she not dead. But it's okay. It's okay. It's... <laughs> Shit, she not dead. What do you mean? Okay, it's okay, okay. We, we do this first. Oh, no target diva. Shaisa. Shaisa, 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 no target debuff. What do we want to do here? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna kill Luna. I don't think Yufine is the big issue here. Yeah, we soul burn. Okay, we do this. And that's gonna kill her. And while killing her, it's gonna push everybody's back. Everybody come over this back. Except for Yufine, for somehow she, uh, some reason she resisted. But, wait, did she just quit my fire guy? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Let's kill this one first. Because I don't want to get a, a free boost for her. Then we target Eve of this one. And there is no way Yufine does a 1v3. Yeah? Not possible. Not possible at all. Especially since the Nibra is going to kill her in one hit. Yeah? No need for defense. So there you go. Three wins. Easy clap. Anyway, we're going to wrap up this video with some summons on the Isteria banner. Not because I want Isteria. But mainly because, well, um, I want fodder. So the collab is coming. But I don't have enough 5-star max level fodder to be able to 6-star something instantly. 
All right, so that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I hope the, this helped you gain some insight as to how to take down some of the more common uh, Guild War defenses out there, the ML cans. Normally what I want to do for ML cans is I'm, going, I'm being too long-winded here. Fuck that. Smash like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hero,